Hey everybody, what's going on? As you can see, I am working on the Bad Cat Zebra Stripe guitar. And I don't know if you can kind of notice something a little bit strange with the fretboard without me telling you. But I found out a little bit of something. I'm glad I bought the 12 inch radius block because something was up with this fretboard. Now, when I ended up doing the inlays, you know, I used the I used the radius block to sand them down, get them all even with the fretboard. And uh, yeah, everything worked out perfect without any shrinkage. So after I polished this thing up and something just didn't look right with the light hitting the fretboard. And I don't know if you could see what I'm talking about right away, but there's a couple of flat spots that I noticed. I, I fail. 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 So as I was polishing the fretboard, I noticed that there was a couple of flat spots. Just feeling it with my hand, I could kind of feel that something wasn't quite right. So I thought maybe, well, uh, maybe I can get away with it a little bit. It's at the end of the fretboard, um, possibly, you know, it'd work out. Maybe, I don't know. So I ended up starting to apply a fret. And guess what? I, I fail. fail. Yes, I fail miserably putting in the fret. Not that the fret didn't go in the slot or it didn't seat right, but it chipped the clear around the fret as I was putting it into the fretboard. That's where I should have install the frets first and then finish the fretboard after you can always mask off the fretboard and you can always clean off the fret you know when i do the fret leveling on it well mistakes learned i guess this is the first time i've ever installed frets on a guitar and uh yeah it won't be the last though I, i'm not going to let it get me down so i ended up resanding just stripping off the finish that was on the fretboard and found the two spots you can kind of tell right away when you're sanding something if there's a low spot uh, it's going to look different than the rest of it so I corrected that and uh, yeah so now the whole neck is a true 12 radius just like it's supposed to be I can't leave stuff alone when it comes to something like this because it's going to bug me and I don't like like just half-assing shit so I'm still going to finish up the top. That's not going to be that big of a deal. But now I'm going to be refinishing the neck when I end up spraying the top as well with the clear. Not a big deal. Sometimes things like this happens and you learn from them. Just like I did. <laughs> 